I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com. We're in Van Nuys, California for the LA Amp Show 2009. You just heard a Channing amp, and this is David Channing. David, how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you, Joe? Good. Good to see you. Hey, uh, let's start over here. There's a guy you may be familiar with playing your amps on stage. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's no small feat. Talk about a guy with ears and fingers. Uh, why is it, do you think, that he plays your amps? Um, you know, you'd have to ask them that. I, I hope it's because they sound good to him. I mean, from my experience, it's what makes you feel right when you're playing, and apparently it's working for Jeff, so I'm grateful for that. Well, that, that sets this video off with some pretty high expectations. I'll tell you, we are in a hotel room. We're doing the best we can to record, uh, you know, the best quality sound we can, but uh, the idea is to give you, you know, a, a gentle idea of what these amps are capable of. So why don't you take us through it? Uh, which one are we looking at here? Uh, this one is the, the CL30, the Classic 30. It's obviously based on a, an English amplifier with 30 watts. And a uh, different, little bit different things that I've done differently is that it, you'll notice that the control panel is a treble middle bass, so it, it's going to make more sense to guys who are accustomed to the sort of martial layout. And I have the addition of the mid-range control has a range that actually gets into the kind of thrust that a martial will do. So aiming to get the kind of chime that you would get out of that standard circuit, but also something that could be a little bit more aggressive and take away some of the features that the old amplifiers have, like their willingness to burst into flame. This one, <laughs> this one won't do that. Uh, what kind of uh, speakers in the cab? Uh, I'm, these ones that are here at the show are all Celestian loaded. This one has one of the Alnico Blues and one of the Greenbacks in it. And uh, the one underneath the 45 is a Alnico Blue and a G12H. All right, well, let's hear it, man. Okay. <laughs> mid-range down this is the this will be the chimey zone and by turning up the mid you can get more I'll do a fairly extreme thing here we get more thrust in that kind of It has, it's like two amps in one right there. Yeah, and it, it has a range of characters that are all in that British zone, but it reaches into the more aggressive stuff. And if somebody wants to do the, the strummy jangly kind of thing, which is one of my favorite things to do, it'll go there just, you know, with a twist of the knob. That's really cool, man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, what should we know about pricing and availability? Um, well, the availability is whenever I can get them built because <laughs> I'm the entire company. Um, and pricing is, this. I believe the head um, is list price is twenty-eight fifty. The speaker cabinet is listed at 700 and uh, 2950 for the CL45 head, and the same for the cabinet 700 head list. Do you want to go through another channel here? Um, actually, let's go to the other amp, which will take just a second. All right, so this is the 45 water? Yeah, this is the one that's been on stage for all of uh, 2009 tours with Mr. Beck. And it's the uh, same sort of character. It's, it's based on the uh, essentially the, the model that it was Took, I took off from as a starting point was the JTM 45 and then extended and voiced it to the way I wanted to hear it. And also you can see that it matches that cabinet uh, style that the 30 was developed in, which is sort of a combo, but for use in studio it's good to be able to have the head separate. So I decided that I liked the look of it like this and that's how my cabinets ended up. The 45 of course is uh, different topology in that it has it's fixed bias so it's going to have a more there's the onset of distortion be when you dig in and it's slightly more aggressive but it's more articulate on the cleaner stuff uh, below that so <laughs> kind of British sound but with a slightly different voice that you know just out of self-defense building the app I want to hear it and then hopefully other people will like it as well awesome I'm very girthy but still very articulate yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what I was aiming for cool, cool. all right man uh, if people want to find out more about your stuff where can they go online channingamps.com all right why don't you play something to take us out I'm Joe Coffey you're watching premierguitar.com okay. 